what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're talking about screen five again so we got some new images this morning on day 11 of the 12 days of scream or 12 days of christmas for scream tomorrow i think we all are betting that we're going to get some type of long featurette or the second final trailer before the january 14th release date which is in a few weeks not that long long before we get to go back to the town of woodsboro and endure all the bloodshed once more so First image we have here is of Gail Weathers at a crime scene, presumably. Now, what crime scene would I go out and say that I think this is? Well, judging from the TV spots and, you know, the trailers and just me, myself, being someone who likes to piece things together, this most likely would have to be after Judy gets attacked. So if Judy does, in fact, die, this would be the first time Ghostface has killed a sheriff in, in the Scream universe. Uh, at least of Woodsboro anyway. And I think a lot of people, I think th that's what I want to just talk about really quick. It's these small things that I think a lot of uh, the general audiences won't be appreciating, but us diehard fans, we should be paying attention to stuff like that. It seems like there's going to be a lot of first time evers that take place in screen five that many of us probably won't notice until we sit down and talk about it, such as the fact if a sheriff is killed, you know, Ghostface by doing that is already much more seemingly much more dangerous. And accord and of course it also depends on how you execute it, how it all goes down, how the score is during it, uh how the tension is. Are you building up tension and then it's just something very heart gut wrenching to watch, heartbreaking, etc. We could just be in for a, a very much more bloodthirsty ghost face and killing the sheriff is a, is a real big ballsy thing to do. Probably the most ballsy thing they've done in Woodsboro, I'd say, since killing Principal Hembry and then hanging him outside of the school. So definitely something to think about as far as like first time ever that you could be getting in screen five and just how ghost face is going to be a lot more different than previous ghost faces and accomplishing certain things that other that the others have not. Even if it does not include Sidney Prescott, which we all, of course, at this point know that they won't be able to accomplish that. The other image we see here is of Dewey, Sam, Richie, Wes. I'm assuming that Chad and Chad and Liv are also in this scene, too, just going off of the trailer again. And this seems to be the moment where we'll, of course, hear Sam talking about, you know, all the attacks have been on people related to the original killers. Dewey's probably going to have a bit of dialogue where they go over the rules. I'm assuming this is going to be Mindy's house and I'm only saying that because if you actually look closely and if you want to just screen cap this or if you follow me on Twitter you know I've already talked about it look at the table you see they have some have some food for everyone as they come around and sit down and talk about you know who's going to die next and why they're going to die and just speculating on what's going on you can see that uh there's like blu-rays of what appears to be the stab franchise shout out to uk once again because you pointed this out so it looks like they are blu-ray copies of stab six and seven and maybe the original stab two but yeah they definitely have blu-ray copies of stab sitting on that table there which lends me to thinking that we're at the we're at the meeks martin house maybe this is where we'll actually get to see a brief cameo from heather Matarazzo before we don't see her anymore or maybe we'll even see a small cameo of Jamie Kennedy somehow whether that be a image or just some voice cameo work you know there's plenty of different ways you can have that character appear without being alive <laughs> the other image we have here is of course of Ghostface now this could be where or after I guess Ghostface attacks Chad uh, when he's running after Chad at the at the uh, mocker house or this could just be a still they released. I'm, I'm thinking that all of the stills are, of course, from the film. But this could be from the film's actual ending, like the little flash jump scare sequence that you get at the end of the original and Scream 2. They're going to bring that back for Scream 5. And this could just be where that's where where this is from. This is the part of the movie that it could be from, not actually part of the events that are unfolding but this is a shot from the end sequence that they filmed before they jump into the credits so i think ghostface looks great here my only gripe of course is that in the past and everything else we've shown i would say the hood has been a lot more fitted properly and in a sense of it like the tight look fitting hood definitely gives you party city vibes for anyone because i know myself i i went around dressed as ghostface plenty of times as a kid for halloween 
and I was never a big fan of how the costumes look because they, they, they were not I identical to how it comes off on screen or how they looked on screen you know the the baggier look is is what Ghostface looks like typically on screen you don't have this kind of tight snug fit to it the hood is a lot more relaxed there's a lot more space that you see because we actually see a, a different variation of this image or of this look throughout the trailer where when in the hospital it looks like it's a lot more uh a lot more head space that's not being filled because again the hood is probably a lot more bigger that's why i'm thinking that this is just something they used for the end credit sequence before we jump into the actual credits themselves but that little ghost face jump scare flash you'll get but these images are very exciting uh, definitely a lot to talk about in regards to Gail Weathers and what she's doing there, who she'll interact with there at that crime scene. The other thing I guess we should talk about would be regarding if the fact that there's that the absence of Judy and I guess Vince too would mean that they're dead. Now, of course, if you want to bet, I think you'd be smarter to bet that yes, they're dead. <laughs> but of course, this would at least indicate to me that they're out of commission in some way. They're not. They're not going to be playing any factors going forward because they've been injured or they've been killed. Vince, we know, I guess, is going to be getting into some, some type of attack or bar confrontation with uh, Chad. Over, again, speculating over Liv, as, as I talked about in my previous video. And then I guess after that, he's going to go out to behind the bar. Looks like he takes a pee <laughs> in public like that. And then his headlights come on. He goes over, try to figure out whose headlights, why his headlights are on like that, or whatever car that is with the headlights on. Turns them off. Ghost faces behind him. The attack happens. He probably dies. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Vince is gone. So as far as all these images, these are again exciting. And hopefully tomorrow will be the trailer, the second and final trailer. That would be a very great Christmas Eve present to get from the Scream admins and everyone involved with this upcoming film. They've done a terrific job marketing it. So ending the year with a final trailer and then if they have more tv spots and everything they can i guess release them but i don't think i'll probably be watching them but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video